Hi, I'm Kurt, and I'm going to be showing you how to make large-scale envelopes using the Template Studio. The Template Studio works with standard size poster board that you can pick up at any grocery store, as well as the new line of designer poster board from We Are Memory Keepers, which comes in a variety of colors and patterns, as well as foil, craft, and glitter. To get started, I'm going to be pulling out my instructions that come with the starter kit for the envelope. And in here, you can see that we have all of the different sizes and things that it will cut. We've gone through and figured out standard size inserts that you might want to put in there. So if you're giving your friend a 12 by 12 layout, you can see right here where you need to cut your paper down. We have everything from 13 by 13 down to 5 by 7. We also have in here the step-by-step -step instructions called out, which I will be going through with you so you can reference them after this video is over. But to get started with this, I'm going to be making the 11 by 14 envelope. So I see here I need to cut my paper down to 21 by 21. I do that by connecting my A and B guides together that come with the starter kit. And I'm going to be cutting this down to 21. I noticed I lock the arrows, I lock it into place by aligning the arrows of the guide with 21. And then I cut along that edge. Now all of the envelopes start with a basic square. So I'm going to rotate this paper and I'm going to cut it to 21 again, aligning it to the top edge. We're going to cut again. And as I cut vertically, I like to make sure that I hold this in place so it doesn't wiggle around on me a lot. So I get a nice, clean edge. Now I'm going to align the paper to where it needs to be. Some of our guides, you actually start at zero down here at the bottom left corner. But with this one, with all the different size envelopes that it makes, you need to um, look here on, for, what you're, for where to align it. So for my 11 by 14, we're going to align it at four and a half inches along the bottom edge. Just double checking, there we go. And now we're gonna connect our envelope and box template guide with our C guide. Connect those two together, and in the instructions it calls out you need to put the arrow of C here in four and a half with one notch of the C off of the, pit, off of the board. And then it's gonna come down or on a diagonal down to 17 and a half, locking that one down into place. And once it's in place, we're ready to start cutting. So we are going to cut along the inside edge right here. And then you are going to score along the top edge. And then we're going to rotate our paper 90 degrees in this direction. The reason why I'm rotating it in this direction is because of that's where the score line is. Now, I'm not going to align it at 4.5 because it's not going to be in the right spot. What I'm going to align it at is right here along the score line is going to line up with this line right here, the score guide line on my template guide. So I line that up along the bottom edge. And now I'm going to cut just like that and score. And I'm going to repeat this on all four sides. Aligning with the score guide. All right, cut and score. And then our last side. Now, since only one peg is up in this corner, you're going to want to make sure it stays locked in place each time. All right, and then the last one, cut and score. So there you have it. There is our finished envelope. Now we just need to fold it down. So we are going to fold along our score lines, just like so. Now we're going to apply some adhesive onto it. I like to use this red tape. It's a nice permanent tape. So I've got some pre-cut pieces for myself already. So 
So I just align it right here for me. Flip this end over. Hits it right there. And get another piece. Line it up right there. And there you go. There is a nice envelope that will fit an 11 by 14. Now, if this edge right here bothers you, you can just take a piece of scissors, some scissors and cut that edge off. The other thing you will notice in your instruction guide is we also have a bonus item in here. The bonus item is to make envelope boxes. The envelope boxes work the exact same way, and I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. I already have a piece of paper cut down to size. I'm going to make the exact same box envelope that I did before. So I'm aligning my paper again to four and a half inches. I'm aligning my guide to four and a half and 17 and a half. The only thing that's different this time, we're still gonna cut just like we did before. Okay. But when we get to the scoring side, before we scored just on this side, which we're still doing, but you're also gonna score on the other side. And that's gonna give us some dimension to this to make it into a box. So again, you're gonna rotate this. Now you've got two notches going on. You wanna make sure you line it with the more inside one. So aligning up here along the bottom. Cut. and score on both sides, underside, top side. Rotate and repeat. Again, aligning with the top score line. Cut. Score both sides. Lining it one last time. There's my last cut, and then here are my last scorings. Okay. Now as you go around and fold it, just fold it along both of those lines. And you're going to see you start to get the nice dimension there to it. So it's a nice envelope box. Just like that. And then to glue this together, we're going to put tape in the exact same spots we did before. over here. And then we are going to glue this down. And now you have a nice envelope box that you can give a gift in. And here's your finished envelope box. So with one guide, you can make a box and an envelope. These are just two of the projects that you can make using the Template Studio. Be sure to check out our other instructional videos.